Let's clear up hell. Congressional Democrats introduce nationwide conversion therapy ban. Congressional Democrats on Monday reignited an effort to pass federal legislation outlawing the practice of conversion therapy, which is a scientifically discredited practice that aims to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. The Therapeutic Fraud Prevention Act introduced Monday in the House by Representative Ted Liu would make it unlawful to provide conversion therapy to any individual or promote efforts to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. The bill, which has 62 Democratic co-sponsors, would also make it illegal to knowingly assist or facilitate the administration of conversion therapy for financial gain. A companion bill in the Senate introduced Monday by Senators Patty Murray and Cory Booker has 32 32, sorry, Democratic co-sponsors. Both measures have been endorsed by LGBTQ plus rights groups and mental health organizations, including the Human Rights Campaign and the American Psychological Association. The Congressional Equality Caucus has also endorsed the bill in both chambers. 21 states and Washington, D.C. have enacted laws that ban conversion therapy for minors, and five states have enacted partial bans. Three states, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida, are unable to enforce bans on conversion therapy because of an injunction in the United States Courts of Appeals for the 11th Circuit that prevents them from doing so. One thing I really would love that bill to pass, although I am not entirely optimistic, especially right now in the, ha uh, the House situation, which is also why elections matter. Elections matter because we need to get this bill passed, we need to ban conversion therapy, we need to establish Equality Act. And guess what? If we have a split Congress, we'll never get it done. But I, these, can't, I, I can't. I just, I just still can't believe that that states even are able to offer something like this. Like you know, I'm just still so blown away that conversion uh, therapy uh, would still be uh, no. Like I, I have an old friend who, um, their, his parents tried that on him 40 years ago, and they used shock treatment. Shock mm -hmm. treatment. Yeah. The kid is not okay today. Okay, he's no. not. And guess what? He's still gay. <laughs> you know the thing. The thing about this for me, being someone who works in healthcare, is that. When you say you have a therapy or a treatment, it has to be peer reviewed and you have to have data and it has to be reviewed by the FDA and by the CDC. And lots of people all over the globe have to go, yeah, we agree that this is an actual treatment and you can now start to use that. That's not whatever happened in conversion therapy. Mm -hmm. It always came out of a church somewhere. It always came from some quack who decided that they had some, right. some unproven theory and they've been charging people, they've been harming people. Yeah. Uh, for me, these people should all go to jail, right? Because they don't have a proven therapy. And that's what the bill is saying, is that you have to stop saying that you have the, it's not real, you don't have that. Yeah. There is it's no fraud. peer it's review, fraud, right? right? It's fraud. Yeah. And and you're hurting people, right? The, the idea that, now I know in Miami-Dade County, we have been fighting, they just passed conversion therapy a couple of years ago in Miami Dade County, in unincorporated Miami Dade County. Wow. I've been trying to get it overturned. A lot of people have been trying to get it overturned. We have not yet. Um, and it's 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 beyond frustrating as a healthcare professional to think that there are people out there being allowed to legally harm people yeah. mm -hmm. under the guise of medical treatment. Yeah. This is not medical treatment, <laughs> Look, right? This ties, <laughs> this, ties, this ties in a larger picture that's of this anti-intellectualism, the distrust of scientific, exp scientific expertise and advice. Right. I mean, we're all science people here. Right. And you know, when I you know, when people tell you that the vaccines are safe, these people make up excuses. They don't want to hear it. They're permanent. Their ears are permanently plucked. Well, they only want to hear the results they want to hear. Well, I think the key phrase from this story is a scientifically discredited practice. Right. Yeah. And we all right. know that when right. science rejects you, the Republicans will embrace you. <laughs> <laughs> right. You they right. no, they're the ones who push this. Their their right wing religious faction are the ones right. that you know are right. also. And remember, this is part of a bigger picture. It's not just vac COVID vaccines or hell even measles vaccines these days and conversion therapy. It's uh, treating trans kids. Right. It, in many states, it's treating trans adults. It's it's abortion. It's, it's abortion, abortion. <laughs> yeah. which but, is an actual medical procedure. Uh -huh. The vast majority <laughs> of Congressmen, senators, and state legislators and governors 
are not doctors. Right. And they need to just let Stop doctors. Stop practicing medicine. They need to let doctors <laughs> yeah. do their thing. Right. They need to let, they need to follow science's lead. And they I, absolutely refuse well, And they also have to, they have to be on the record. These things have to be, they have to be submitted and then get them on the record. If they're against it, it will come back to hunt them. Yeah. When, yeah. when time comes, because yeah. If you are that outrageously crazy to go <laughs> against these kind of things, right. people will pass you, you know, the, the right. bill later on yeah. when it's time for, for, for election. So yeah. they should be on the record. It's politicizing expertise, it's plain right. and simple. You know, school boards are elected. Why are we getting, electing school boards instead of just putting educate, actual educators on school boards? We mm -hmm. should have doctors of education or masters of education on, the, on those boards, not moms of liberty for liberty <laughs> or, or any of that yeah. or those people. Right. Why are we letting elected politicians who have no expertise whatsoever dictate Medical, medical decisions. Medical things, exactly what Paul said. I don't know, right. And like, insane. <laughs> right. There's some things that should not be elected. And, and really, it's criminal. Yeah, right? it is. Because it's malpractice. Because they're, they're allowing people to perform harmful, unproven treatments yeah. on children. Yeah. These are the same people that say they're always protecting the children. Yeah. Right? They don't want them to go to a drag show. Yeah. But they're going to let them get yeah. electrocuted. Yeah, God forbid they talk to somebody, <laughs> you know, talk to a therapist about maybe any kind of gender dysphoria, right. or maybe something going on. No, no, right. no, but let's go shock them. Right, right, right. <laughs> wow. Exactly right. Yeah. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.